uh, people who are depressed consistently say is um, rather than feeling bad all the time, sad or uh, low or whatever, they don't feel anything. That's usually when depression gets pretty bad, is you don't feel anything. You could um, go through a terribly um, sad experience. You could attend a funeral of someone you love, and you don't really feel much different than you would otherwise feel. Um, and that's where um, this, uh, again, this asymmetry argument that Benatar has come up with fails, because the fact is, in, in depression, you feel about as bad as it's possible for a human being to feel, but you can't actually feel these. Um, people who are depressed actually become physically um, impervious, or at least more impervious to pain than the rest of us. Physical pain. Um, and you don't feel this either. So it's not so much that these are imbalanced in, uh, in, in depression, uh, the early stages are you just feel this, but after a while, this goes off the map as well. It, this goes first, but it's followed eventually by this. If this has value, so does this. Um, and if this has value, so does this. The real absence of value is when you don't have any of these. That's severe depression. And that's something that Benatar simply doesn't take into consideration in his, I would say, almost infantilely simplistic um, depiction of the um, the split between the positive and the negative in terms of human emotions and human feelings. Happiness, sadness, joy, sorrow, pain, pleasure, etc. Far, far, far too simplistic and um, possibly an indication of a depressed mind, but I don't know. I can only go by my own experience. Thank you.